Now, of course, we're here to learn all about farming and how farmers produce our food. I'm joined now by Elspeth. Hello, Elspeth. Hello, nice to meet you. Now, we've got some amazing, imposing, beautiful horses behind us. What do they have to do with farming, Elspeth? Well, these are your original tractors. We've got Shire horses here today, Percherons and Clydesdales. And what would they usually do on the farm? They would have been your original tractor, so we would have the... Um, the seed drills, the, dr the roll, the chain harrows and your original um, sort of lorry transport. Fabulous, so all of those things that we can see over there in the farm would be attached to the back of the horses. Yeah, we've got one attached over there. So yes, these would have done the farming originally from ploughing up the soil, planting the seeds and then obviously reaping the corn and bringing it in from the fields. Great, well they are so huge, so you can see by just looking at them, they are really, really powerful. So they probably had no problems doing all those tasks whatsoever. No, none at all, no, they're, they're nice and strong. Now I understand that we do measure horses in a different way to when we measure our, ourselves. We do like metres and inches and feet, but we, how do we measure horses? We measure them in hands, so it's your hands and like that so it's a it's four inches the measurement so the horse behind us Macy he stands 19 hands whereas the little pony he's seven hands <laughs> we have to introduce Freddie take a look at little Freddie children how cute is Freddie hello Freddie just minding his own business having a little bit of hay Freddie must absolutely love being here with all the children meeting. He him. does, yeah. He's uh, he's been the highlight, I think. <laughs> yeah, it really, really is. Let's head over to Sophie now. See what she's found. Hi everyone. I'm here with the Shire horses, and this is Steve, who is a farrier. So, Hi. Steve, what actually is a farrier? A farrier is a person who shoes horses, not to be muddled up with a blacksmith. Um, blacksmiths make gates and railings and things like that. Although years ago, um, a blacksmith shop was in the middle of the village and they would have done everything. But a farrier just shoes horses and nothing else. So there's a difference there? So there is a big difference. Okay, yep. so why do the horses need to wear shoes? Good question. Um, three main reasons, protection, yeah. correction and grip. So the foot itself is a bit like your fingernails but they're walking on so obviously they would wear away on the hard roads and yeah. things so we put a shoe on to protect that they also like if you were playing football or hockey you would have shoes with studs and things in to stop you slipping yeah. so they have shoes it's to the stop them thing. slipping okay. and again if they've um, got a, a limb that is twisted or a leg that is twisted um, which can happen as foals and things yeah. when they're laying in the womb we can put a thicker shoe on one side and thinner on the other, so that is the corrective shoeing. Oh, that's good. So does that hurt the horses when they get their shoes put on? Not at all. The whole hoof itself is made up of a horny, it's like a box. Yeah. Um, so and we just deal with the horny structures, so they're really hard, just like your fingernails. Yeah. And they grow just like your fingernails. So every six to eight weeks, they have to have them trimmed. Right. Like you would yourself. Just like you know? us. Yeah, yeah. How did you become a farrier? Um, through my father and my grandfather. I'd spent as a small boy in the forge and that was just a natural progression. I never wanted to do anything else. Was it hard to become one? Uh, yeah, you um, spend, do a four year apprenticeship and in that time you study anatomy of the horse, physiology of the horse, yeah. not just making shoes and knocking them on. So a lot of time spent in the classroom studying. Lots of studying. Yeah. yeah. How often do you need to change the horse's shoes? Most horses have changed their shoes between six and eight weeks okay. on average. Um, they might not have worn the shoes out, but that, as I was saying, the feet grow. Yeah. So as the foot grows longer, the shoe would get longer and longer, and that would be walking with like flippers on. Okay. For them. So they have to keep their shoes and feet short.